So the biggest thing we've found so far with the little pole saw that we don't like is it does not spin fast enough. If it would spin, it says it spins 4,600 RPMs. If it would spin at least 6,000, I think we'd be kind of in a, if it would if it would spin a little faster, I think we would have a little bit more of a, a industrial product. It'd be good for your house. Yeah, it's really, it would yeah. be really good for your house. Um, you've used it some, ain't you? you very, drink? very little. Very little? Yeah. But it would be perfect for around the house, stuff like that. Because they're way, way lighter than a wet board. I got one in wet when you plug in. Yeah. Oh, it's heavy, heavy, heavy. I hate it. Uh, it I mean, it does a decent job. The biggest thing is it needs to spin faster. Uh, I think if it spun faster, that would stop that hopping, skipping that it tries to do. Um, you've used it the most, Matt. What is your input on it? Chain needs to spin faster. Yeah. I mean, uh, most especially for home use, great, perfect. perfect. If you're a truck driver looking to have something in your truck with you that you that instead of a chainsaw or something like that, that's going to be easy to put in there because this unattaches. Untouch it. So show them what it. They also have a string trimmer and a hedge trimmer attachment for it. I mean, but it comes apart. And we're pressing a button. Yeah, you just unscrew that and press a button and boom, it comes apart and then it goes right back together just that fast. And you could put it like in your sleeper or if you had a day cab truck, it could definitely go in there. It's a good little product. I mean, I'm not disappointed with it. I'm I'm uh I'm actually kind of surprised. <laughs> Thanks, Milwaukee. <laughs> You only get a few pieces. Woo, we gonna fall down right here. See if we can get back over there and get behind him. Thank you. 
Now we're gonna watch Michael pick up his. This ain't technically a mat, but that's what a mat would look like. You see, he gets, gets everything in one grab right there, and he might have some more right there in front of him, but that's about three quarters of a drag, what was in one uh, mat. But that was from thinning stuff over here, off the side, and then toting some stuff out of this SMZ right here. Um, so yeah. You don't ever hardly get to watch Michael up close like that. It's always so hard to get up close to him when I'm having to cut. The sounds and everything. I love getting y'all getting down here close to the stuff and getting you the sounds of everything taking place. That's what makes logging so cool is all the sounds and the just everything about it. It's just it's just it's just badass.